Welcome. Bienvenidos, Progreso International Bridge. We first crossed into Progreso, Mexico from Progreso, Texas in January of 2020. It was a festive site and there were street vendors with roasted corn, elotes, and we look forward to going back. So we did just the other day after paying $1 to cross the International Bridge. You cross over the Rio Grande. As we were walking across, one of the locals was telling us how they had put alligators in the river as a deterrence. Um, I'm not sure if they did or not, but I would think that would be a deterrence. We didn't see one, although we did look. As you can see, they have painted the sign since we were there back in January of 2020. It looks great. And here we go, lots of street vendors. These have cornbread, nopales. These are sliced prickly pear cactus, and they are often served with eggs and chorizo. I think they're a little slimy, but I guess it's where it was cooked and who and how authentically it is done. And this, Dulce de guava. It's candied fruit. It's a thick guava jam that can be served as a standalone dessert, but it's more commonly used as a filling for cakes, pies, and guava tarts. And of course, praline with peanuts. Can't beat that. And Mexican drinks? Sodas? Oh, I think they are the best, of course. Not sure what he's got in that bucket. I didn't ask. And look at this gigantic taco stand. It's just a hard decision, isn't it? Where are we going to eat? Looks like this guy's got himself a uh, sausage on the grill and an onion. That sounds good, but I don't think he's got enough to share. And this is pan bolillo, a type of bread. More tacos and lunches, more lotus and queso blanco. It's super good, and it's great for quesadillas, tacos, or tostados. It's cheese. It's got to be good with anything, right? These agua frescas, they are fresh waters. You can find them in all flavors. Lemon water, watermelon. We like to get combinations of fruits, like maybe a strawberry and lime. All right, I want you to subscribe. Thanks, guys. This lady has her own little taco stand. It looks like a couple of the locals are enjoying lunch. But a lady that we were speaking to said, go to Arturo's. It's very nice. The menu says, established in 1956. We first ordered a Coca-Cola when they brought the fresh homemade chips and pico and salsa. And as a note, a lot of times at authentic Mexican restaurants, the salsa will be served warm. Looking over the menu, oh, there's so many choices. I don't know how to decide. I'm going with the special Mexican plate. Yeah, it's way too much food, but I'll take it home. I hope I can take it across. I think so. It's going to be a poblano pepper, two cheese enchiladas, two Arturo's tacos, a tamale, and guacamole salad. Oh, look what I just found on the bottom of the menu. We serve Culligan water. Oh, that's good. Okay, so now we can drink the water. That's why I had ordered a Coke. We really enjoyed the salsa and the homemade chips while we were waiting for our food. Oh, look at this plate. This is way too much food. I think I'm going to for sure eat the taco and the guacamole and the tamale and I wonder if they have any hot or hot sauce. Oh, Oh, yes, I do. Great. I want that. And Steve got shrimp tacos with rice and guacamole. Okay, I just can't eat anymore, but I did have to try one of those enchiladas. There's nothing like a fresh cheese enchilada. And the refried beans, they were really good too. But the rest will be for another time. Our server was super nice. And after he packaged up our food, he also gave us a big stack of fresh corn tortillas and some saltines. Stop, wait, we'll be back. I've got more to show you on our trip down to Progresso. But I just wanted to talk about food this time. Flip flops on the ground, unclassic road trip.